Welcome to the Hannity TV program. It's the Clinton scandal that just won't go away. I'm Tucker Carlson. In tonight for Sean, new revelations this afternoon about Hillary Clinton's lingering email controversy. This after the FBI published brand new documents related to its now closed investigation into the former Secretary of State. Joining us now with the very latest on this is our own Catherine Herridge. Catherine? This 11-page FBI summary of Hillary Clinton's July 2nd interview shows the former Secretary of State could not remember key details about her emails more than two dozen times. Critics aren't buying it. It isn't plausible. Not someone with her background, experience, training. She's an attorney, 25 years in government, and suddenly she has selective amnesia. It's not plausible. It's not believable. Clinton told FBI agents she could not recall when she got a security clearance. Clinton could not recall briefings or training on the handling of classified information. And Clinton could not recall specialized training for the U.S. government's most closely held secrets, known as special access programs. But the same week Clinton became Secretary of State, she signed two non-disclosure agreements, where she said she knew the rules and that violating these agreements could result in criminal charges. Clinton also told the FBI that she could not recall the details surrounding the 2009 setup of the Clinton email.com domain, whose servers were housed at their Chappaqua, New York home. Clinton said the personal email account was a matter of convenience. FBI agents do not appear to press Clinton on the issue, further reinforcing Republican criticism of the FBI director and the investigation. Remember James Comey said she was not indicted because he didn't have sufficient evidence on the issue of intent. She said she did it for convenience, but, but, but I didn't see the follow-up questions in the interview I read. The heavily redacted FBI summary also shows Clinton was questioned about the 22 top secret emails <clears throat> too damaging to release for national security reasons. And that questioning included the drone campaign as well as human spying for CIA programs. Tucker? Catherine Harris, thanks on Catherine. We're here with reaction from our Republican presidential candidates, Governor Mike Huckabee of Arkansas and Dr. Ben Carson. It is great to see you both. Dr. Carson, first to you. This is kind of definitive then. Hillary Clinton says, I didn't know the rules. That's not a plausible explanation, is it? Uh, it's not a plausible explanation, and her failure to remember anything uh, certainly is not a quality that you would want to see in a president. So I'm assuming you buy it then. Do you think she wasn't capable of remembering the most basic rules on handling classified material? Well... It, it doesn't particularly matter. If she wasn't capable of remembering that, she definitely would not be capable of performing the duties of the president. And if she is lying about it, then that disqualifies her, too. I think she's disqualified either way you look at it. So, Governor Huck, we just take three steps back. We're finding out about this from the FBI on the afternoon of Labor Day weekend, on a Friday, on a holiday weekend. This is a classic way to bury news that you think is going to be damaging to the principal. The FBI is not a political organization, but this move suggests they're acting for political reasons. Do you think that's true? And if so, how discouraging is that for a law enforcement agency to help a political campaign? Well, the FBI has always been above and beyond the political ramifications. It's one of the reasons that most Americans have an incredibly high respect for the FBI. This hurts the FBI's reputation. Hurts James Comey's reputation, but most of all, it damages Hillary Clinton. I mean, for her to claim that she has less memory about what she was briefed on than Jason Bourne knew about his past identity is just not realistic. And I agree with Ben Carson. If she really doesn't remember fundamental facts of national security like this, that she has no business being sworn in as president, and we need to make sure the American people don't make what could be an incredibly irrevocable mistake. So, Dr. Carson, these 60 pages suggest more stories to come in this way. You have Hillary Clinton in the FBI's account losing somehow 13 different PDAs and cell phones. You have her using her device in foreign countries. You have her with a skiff, which is supposed to be a bug-proof room in her house and office, that is not secure. This suggests that she was more vulnerable even than we knew to attacks by foreign intelligence agencies. Do you think we're going to be hearing that story before Election Day? Uh, I hope so, but here's the other thing that we have to consider. Because she had such vital information in such insecure places, uh, I think probably the, the, Jap the, the Chinese, the Russians, and some others probably have some of that information. Now, what would it be like to have a president who could be blackmailed by other nations because they have information that she doesn't want to come out. Well, that is the question. That is absolutely the question. And I think it's a, ma it's a major concern for the intelligence agencies in this country. Governor Huckabee, 
Tell us, I mean, you, of course, are from Arkansas. You were three-term governor of Arkansas. You know the Clintons very well. They're smart people. They try to cover all the bases. They're paranoid. They're aware of their public perception. Why would Mrs. Clinton behave in a manner this reckless? What, what would motivate her to do that? Because for so long, Tucker, uh, she and her husband had gotten away with uh, living by a different set of rules than everybody else. Uh, you know, we remember back in 2008, the uh, big banks were protected because they were too big to fail. And I think what we have is a Hillary Clinton who thinks she's too big to jail. She thinks that these rules that apply to everybody else in government are, are for them, for the little people, but not for her. And, and that's very troubling. And this is not a political issue. I know it's going to sound like it, and coming from me, look, I don't pretend that I'm nonpartisan. I'm very partisan. I have a very particular point of view. But try to look at this objectively. And, and let's remember that she said, well, she only had one device. Now we know she got rid of 13 different devices. So there's so many things that have just been said that are fundamentally not true. And she can't possibly say that she just didn't remember how many devices that she had when there were 13 of them. So, Dr. Carson, the whole point of America, the whole reason people come here from other countries who yearn to be Americans, is because we're equal under the law, all of us. And this puts a lie to that. What do you say to the numerous Americans who are now doing jail time or have felony records for mishandling, in some cases they claim unintentionally, classified information? Well, I, I say I'm, I'm sorry that you are the victims of an unfair system. Uh, and, you know, as, as Governor Huckabee alluded to, well, this kind of issue, it's really not a Democrat or Republican issue. This goes to the very heart of who we are as a nation, who we are as people. What do we accept? What kinds of leaders do we want to put up in front of our children as examples? If we put somebody up who, who lies uh, as easily as they breathe, and this is our greatest role model, what can we expect from the next generation of Americans? Well, that, that's a deep question. I, I mean, Governor Huckabee, I don't think Hillary Clinton is the worst person in the world at all, but I think that this behavior is clearly unacceptable. There's no defending it at all, and yet Democrats are defending it. Donald Trump has said things that are hard to defend, and a lot of Republicans said, you know, I'm not going to defend it. Like, that's wrong. And they've walked away from him. You haven't seen anything like that on the Democratic side. It's been lockstep, robotic support for their candidate. Do you think you're going to see any Democrats of conscience say, I'm sorry, I'm not going to defend this behavior? Publicly, probably not. I've always admired the Democrats for circling the wagons around the people that they're trying to protect, no matter how ridiculous it is. And we've seen that uh, not only with uh, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, but with uh, Barack Obama. I mean, they did just always sort of say, no, our side does nothing wrong. But this is troubling, and it needs to be to independent voters People who really want America to be a place where everybody gets treated the same, where Lady Justice is uh, blindfolded and presiding over scales that balance justice and mercy, not campaign and contributions to the Clinton Foundation on one side of the scale and favors on the other. And that's the kind of White House we would have with Hillary Clinton. Yeah, well, I don't admire that lockstep at all. No, because I think it betrays the real point of democratic politics, which is not to sort of act on behalf of some principle, but to acquire power and use power. And I don't think that's a good reason to get into politics. But at some, at some point, we have to ask ourselves, who are we? Yeah. What kind of people are we? And what do we represent? And uh, not what is politically expedient and what will help our party to do better. And if, if that's the road we're going to go down, we're doomed. Man, I hope if Trump ever did something like this, or if, you know, whatever Trump does, I'm not going to be there robotically defending it. You know, stick to your principles. You'll feel good about it yourself in the end. Anyway, thank you. Gentlemen, it's great to see you both. Thanks for putting that all into context. I appreciate it. Governor Huckabee, you bet. Thanks. Thanks. Absolutely. Coming up right here on Hannity Next. I uh, believe and have said many times that I take classified material seriously, and there were no materials that were marked classified. We've got more reaction to the FBI.